O oh, goddess, hear these tuneless numbers rung by sweet enforcement and remembrance dear, and pardon that thy secret should be sung even into thine own soft conscious ear. Surely I dreamt today, or did I see the winged psyche with awakened eyes? I wandered in the forest thoughtlessly, and on the sudden fainting with surprise, saw two fair creatures couched side by side. In deepest grass beneath the whispering roof Of leaves and trembled blossoms where they ran A brooklet scarce espied Mid hushed, cool-rooted flowers, fragrant-eyed Blue, silver, white, and budded Tyrian They lay calm, breathing on the bedded grass Their arms embraced and their pinions too Their lips touched not, but had not bade adieu As if disjoined by soft-handed slumber and ready still past kisses to outnumber at tender eye dawn of aurorian love the winged boy i knew but who was thou o happy happy dove his psyche true o latest born and loveliest vision far of all olympus faded hierarchy fairer than phoebus sapphire region star or vesper amorous glowworm of the sky Fairer than these, though temple thou hast none, nor altar heaped with flowers, nor virgin choir to make delicious moan upon the midnight hours. No voice, no lute, no pipe, no incense sweet, from chain swung sense teeming, no shrine, no grove, no oracle, no heat of pale mouthed prophet dreaming. O oh, brightest, Though too late for antique vows, too, too late for the fond believing lyre, When holy wore the haunted forest boughs, Holy the air, the water, and the fire, Yet even in these days so far retired from happy pieties, Thy lucent fans, fluttering among the faint Olympians, I see and sing by my own eyes inspired, So let me be thy choir and make a moan upon the midnight hours, Thy voice, thy lute, thy pipe, thy incense sweet from swinged sense a-teeming, Thy shrine, thy grove, thy oracle, thy heat of pale-mouthed prophet dreaming. Yes, I will be thy priest, and build a fane in some untrodden region of my mind, where branched forts new grown with pleasant pain instead of pine shall murmur in the wind. Far, far around shall those dark clustered trees fledge the wild rich mountain steep by steep, and there be zephyrs, streams, and birds and bees, the moss lain dryad shall be lulled to sleep. And in the midst of this wide quietness, a rosy sanctuary will I dress, with the reed trellis of a working brain, with buds and bells and stars without a name, with all the garden of fancy air could fain, who breeding flowers will never breed the same, and there shall be for thee all oh, soft delight that shadowy thought can win. A bright torch and a casement ope at night to let the warm love in.